I'm going to do my hair for you again. The shampoo that I always use and conditioner is the Redken Color Extend Magnetics, and I love this. I've been using it forever. I used to recommend it all the time to my clients. It's light, and it makes your hair feel like silk. The next product I'm gonna use is Unite Smooth and Shine Styling Cream. It's very light. I don't like a lot of heavy feeling products in my hair, and oftentimes I don't use products in my hair. When I apply styling cream to my hair, it's always on mid shaft and ends. Should I put a bit of product in my roots today. I'm going to play with this product today. It is the Big Sexy Hair Root Pump Plus. So I'm just going to spray it on my root right where I want all that volume. And that's about as far down as I would go. And for me, I always want the crown nice and full because I have that crown that separates where it looks like I'm bald. So the more volume I get in there, the better. I always start blow drying my hair where I really care about the style. So the front is really important to me. The part is really important to me and the crown. The rest of it, I just flip it upside down and get it dry. And then I style it from there on. So notice when I brush my hair and I'm pulling it up, I actually touch my nozzle to my brush. A lot of people have a problem with that, but I have to remind everyone that when we use a curling iron, we are touching that very hot iron to our hair for a long period of time sometimes. So this blow dryer gets hot, but I'm moving it so it's not staying on that one spot for very long. So watch when I do this, you're gonna see me pushing up a little bit on my brush and it's helping this arm not get so tired and allowing me to do what I need to do with that section. So getting the roots dry. You can even go at it from the other angle to get the back dry and then I'm gonna pull. Pull, pull, pull. I'm gonna put a good amount of tension on my brush. This is actually getting pulled down and this is getting pushed up. See all the volume I've got there? When I flip it upside down, I'm still gonna keep the tension. So if you can imagine when it's flipped upside down, I'm still gonna hold the blow dryer like this so it goes with the grain of my cuticle. And I'm gonna keep the tension on my hair with my brush. Every blow dryer has a cool shot. So on mine, it's this button right here. I hold it down, get it nice and cool. And before I flip my head back over, I hit it with that cool shot and make sure my hair is cooled off. That way it's not gonna flatten out right away. Of course, I can style it with a curling iron if I want. I could smooth it out with a straightening iron. I very rarely do that. And there you go, I've got lots of volume. Products that I use today will be linked in my bio. I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye.